And this is a blues beginner guitar video. Uh, blues is a lot of fun to play. And it's one of these styles of music that comes from within. But before we can start expressing ourselves and wailing like B.B. King, we need to talk about the structure of the blues and how to play rhythm blues. Uh, the first thing we're going to be talking about is called the blues shuffle. It's a technique that's actually fairly simple. That's a lot of fun to play. And uh, then we're going to be talking about how we can uh, make it sound a little bit better. And uh, let's get started. The blues shuffle is basically played over the 12 bar blues, which happens to be the most popular blues progression in the world. Now how it works is we're going to start using our open A string, and we're going to add our first finger on the second fret of the D string, and we're going to play those both at one time. Now we're going to add a rhythm to it, which is called the shuffle feel, or swing feel, which is kind of like, well it's based off of a triplet. And don't be afraid of that. A triplet simply means three notes grouped together like one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. And you can hear it's got a very, uh, very kind of swingy, bouncy kind of feel to it. What we're going to be doing is playing the first and third note of a triplet. So instead of one, two, three, two, two, three, we're going to be playing one, one, three, one, three, one. that just like the the song bad to the bone um dun 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 that's the rhythm we're going for now the second thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding our third finger to the d string on the fourth fret and switching between two strums on the second fret and then two strums on the fourth fret while we're playing the open a string as well so it sounds like this all down strokes in our right hand two strums on each with the swing feel. If you're having trouble with the swing feel, just think of a really old school blues, you know. Dun, 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 dun. Just that real slow shuffle is what we're going for. Now the cool thing is we're gonna be doing this in uh, three or two other keys. This one would be A, and you can always tell the key by what open string we're using. And we're only strumming two strings at once, the A string and the notes we're playing on the D string. We're going to move everything we just did one string down to get our D shuffle. Pretty much the same technique, just one string down. And now if we want to get our E shuffle, we're going to move everything two strings up. So we're playing open E and then our second finger, or our second, uh, we're playing the second fret on the A string moving to the fourth fret on the A string with our third finger. And those are the three different shuffles we use to play a 12 bar blues. Now you can see in front of you we have the 12 bar blues written out. So for each measure of that song, you're gonna play this shuffle this much. And two, and three, and four, and that was one measure. So I'm gonna play through the full 12 bar blues so you can hear it. It's a very familiar sounding progression and it shouldn't be too difficult for you. to the D, and back to the A, I'm kind of hanging out on the A for a minute here. Now we're on the second line, we're going to the D, and back to the A, hanging out on the A. Now here comes the last four bars, the turnaround we call it. Switch to the D, this is the hard part. And then back to the E. And then we finish on the A. Usually we would repeat that progression several times to create a song with it. And we'll talk about ways we can make it sound a little bit better. But uh, check out the next video. We're going to be talking about licks we can put in there to really make it sound cool. Thanks for watching.